I'm giving AlPal $1,000 to go out and garage sale and hopefully find profitable items that we then process and see how much we'll actually profit in this very video. So let's get right to it. What's up guys? I'm going garage showing today and I'm very excited because I have a couple of really special guests. It's my wife and our baby boy, Al Pal Jr. We're really excited, it's a Saturday. I am hoping to get at least $2,000 of value today. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm really optimistic about that. We're going to a sale that's two hours away. It's a sale that's having over 800 households uh, represented. It's something that they wanna start an annual event. But yeah, 800 households in a community, that's why I am very optimistic about finding at least $2,000 of value. Chase really wanted to go today, but he wasn't able to, so we took up the challenge. We're calling this Date Day Caterpie Edition. Date Day Caterpie, or Caterpie Edition, yeah. Like Here we that. go. Here we go. For those that don't know, Alpal has been working here full time with me for getting close to two years now. And he's actually done eBay completely for like the last full year. So he's really learned a lot. His knowledge has expanded. And this is a concept I've wanted to test for a long time, but I wanted to wait until I thought somebody was ready. I think Alpal is ready to go out there and make smart, educated buys. He's done a lot of work on the selling end. Let's see if he can make it happen on the buying end. Back to you, Alpal. Well, we just got to our first sale. Um, actually, pretty good finds. Mm -hmm. Babe, what'd you find? I got four books for baby boy, a quarter a piece, so a dollar. Nice, nice. And then I found this Sony Handycam. Handycams are always a good bolo. We got this for $5. It could be up to 140 bucks. So. Oh my gosh. Good first find of the day. So we just found these, this Monster High Catacombs and this Frozen Elsa's Ice Magic Palace. He wouldn't go any lower than 50 bucks a piece, but this went for 140, an impartial set. And this is brand new and so is this. I couldn't find this anywhere, which to me is a good sign because I know people are gonna want this. So I feel pretty good uh, about this score. We got a lot of these little Super Marvel play action guys. Yeah, they're uh, they're 12 inch. Uh, I found a Captain America for going for $10 and there's eight of them there. So I think that's probably at least 40 bucks there. Maybe 50, 60. And then what else do we get? We also got this uh, Graco pack and play. Um, there's a lot of pregnant people in our lives. So we're gonna gift it to one of our friends. Nice. So yep. we just picked up some pretty cool game stuff. Good old NES, um, some yellowing. Um, she's pretty sure that it works. Uh, with a stack of games, um, obviously we know that's not a good game, but a lot of games that are worth, you know, 10, 15 bucks a piece. We got things like Excite Bike, Arkanoid, Hogan's Alley, uh, Lolo, and more. And then, you know, we're always looking for these, our bundler games, Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario 3. So we picked this up for $50. Also got a couple PS2 games. Um, I think these are decent. I can't remember the price on those. Um, and then we got this awesome Mario case with a 2DS. And we have some awesome games like Super Mario Bros. That definitely has a lot of bite marks, but it is what it is. Um, Hopefully from the dog, yeah, not the kid. <laughs> right, Super Mario Bros. 2, Yoshi Island, Mario Hoops 3 on 3. I haven't heard of that one before, but woo. We had a working uh, DS. Whoever's editing this, just cut that out. <laughs> but yeah, so we got that. We picked this up for $50. I bundled both of them together for 50 bucks and I had them throw in these custom made pillows that I think will look awesome in Chase's game room. I think he's gonna love them, throwing them on the couch along with these two hats. Um, so I got them to throw all these in with the games for $100. I think that's an awesome score. Uh, I think everything's probably worth three, 400 maybe, maybe 300 on the low end. Um, so yeah, uh, it's been a great day. I think it's like, what, 11 o'clock? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we're gonna keep going and we're gonna find more stuff. Just stopped at good old Subway for some lunch. Um, total value right now, well, total spent is $220. Total value is around 600 mark. That's very conservative. Um, but you know, I said at the beginning that I wanted 2000 in value. 
So, and it's over half the day is done. So we got some work to do. Yeah, we do. But there's a lot of sales still to go. So hopefully we find some great stuff. If not, you'll know about it. Found this bassinet for Alpal Junior for 35 bucks and it's worth what? Like 130, we looked. Okay, so, and we're, we're gonna keep that as a personal thing. Uh, but yeah, that's an awesome deal for us. Picked up a couple awesome items. One is for my mom for being a grandma soon. Michaela actually pointed out this guy, which um, we got for $10. There was no need to negotiate because they're sold for this of almost $400. Wow. All right, guys, we picked up a few good scores in a row. And this next one is this typewriter. Now, I don't know why I do this to myself because I'm gonna be the one shipping this stuff and this is like 25 pounds. Um, but we got it for 15 and I looked it up. It could be anywhere from 100 to $300. So yeah, I mean, the last two scores, we profited like probably 500 bucks, which puts us up to almost $1,100 in profit. It's only 900 more and we still have a few hours to go. I've only been working for Chase for a little over a year, but I've been garage selling with him for about five. And I never get tired of people thinking I'm talking about videotapes or cassettes when I'm asking for video games. Am I missing something? Are we not in 2023? Like, do people not know what video games are? What do you think? You heard it here from a cow pal. Apparently not. Two things just happened. One, I might have just made my riskiest purchase I've ever made with Chase's money. And two, I bought something that I didn't know was there. Uh, let me give the camera to my beautiful wife and she can show you what we found. So the first find, it was these five boxes of Marvel Comics. Um, I had to pay up for them. He wanted a dollar a piece. I got them down to 160. I know nothing about these and I don't know if we're going to profit. I know in the past we've sold these for like a dollar a piece. Um, I think there's probably 300 in here. So if we get that immediately, then that's great. Otherwise, it'll be a good learning experience for me. And then I got all these games here, plus this guitar. Uh, I had, this was on an ask for a lot of these. Some of them were here, but I, I had to ask for more. Um, he brought out this guitar and everything here was for $35 and I didn't realize what I had until I got back to the car and I found this. And for most of you, you probably know, this is like a hundred dollar game. And one of my goals, I literally told Michaela, one of my goals today was to find a hundred dollar game. And there it is. Wow. Nailed it. We're headed home for the day. We're done. Uh, we're tired. It's been a long day. We have another two hours of driving to go, but it was a good day. Um, lots of profit. The goal was $2,000 in value. On Monday, I'm gonna show Chase everything we got and we'll lay it out and see if we got there. It's Monday, so I'm gonna go and grab everything I got in the van, bring it inside and show Chase and see what he thinks and see if we reach that value of $2,000 or more. Okay, well, I'm back to the barn after dropping my kids off to their first day of preschool. But apparently Alpal has some stuff. I do. And genuinely, I have not seen or heard anything about the day. What I did is I said, here's these epic sales. They look amazing. It's their first year doing it. There's like 800 advertised. I, I said go. Yeah, it was the end of the day and I didn't realize. I was like, oh shoot, we've only done like a fifth of the neighborhood. And we were there for like six, seven hours. No. So. <laughs> was that all one neighborhood or like multiple towns? It's just some one massive suburb. Like it's what? just, yeah. It's literally like, all we did was zigzag through streets. <laughs> like we didn't go to the main street. We just kept zigzagging and it goes for miles. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super jealous. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to go so bad, but. But I can imagine it's gonna be better after people get accustomed to it happening. Oh gosh, holy mercy. So, I will set a disclaimer that Comics. I know there's stuff that you would have picked up that I didn't, mm -hmm. but oh, I'm yeah. still, That's like, right. weary of spending so much of your <laughs> yeah, money. A little apprehensive. So, <laughs> so, I try to be a little careful, but... I see um, some interesting pieces here. Yes, there is some down there, too. 
I did get quite Looks a like you big, got a big old comic collection. Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, where would you like to start? You take me through it, however you want to take me through it. Okay. Tell, tell me what you paid, how things went. So, the day started off really good. Our first sale. Is that a Sony? We got mm. a handy cam for five bucks. Nice. So I think the value on that is like 120 at least for five dollars. That was the first sale of the day, so I was like, okay. First sale, wow. Yeah, I mean, that's no brainer. I'm glad you knew to buy a handy cam. Yep. <laughs> I feel like you've definitely picked some stuff up yep, along the yep, way. Yep. Love it. Um, this might have been, this is probably one of my scariest purchases I've got so far with mm -hmm. your money. But, um, <laughs> so this is a sale that I think you would have purchased more because he had more sealed figures and stuff. But I was like, okay, I know these are probably going to be pretty good. Um, he had 50 bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. He wasn't willing to negotiate. Um, That's monster high though. Yes. This I'm goes, optimistic. Th there's only one sold brand new for a hundred. But the only one listed that's brand new is like for like 160. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, 50 bucks. It's a quick listing. I mean, I think we have a good enough box to ship this in. So I was like, okay. Yeah, this I think one, that's good. I couldn't really find much on it. Took me a little while to find anything. Hmm. It, I, th I don't know if it's rare or what, but there's only one list. I can't even find any sold. There's one listed for 300. Dang. And it's brand new. Yeah, you can't go wrong with brand new. So, did they have new and packaged Monster High dolls? I don't, I don't remember that. It's more really frozen good. stuff. Okay. Um, but like I said, I thought about like, <laughs> ah, do I offer? But I'm, I'm glad I didn't because the guy wasn't willing to negotiate much. He's like, oh, if you don't want them, I'll throw them up on eBay. I'm like, yeah. And okay. it sounds like he probably priced like. He, I mean. Reasonable, yes, but okay. Reasonable, but yeah. I like this. I like this. These yeah. purchases, they're easy. And worst case scenario, like it's still gonna be a win. So. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, this briefcase, I have no idea. I got it for seven dollars, but it's like brand new. Yeah, that and looks sweet. I, don't, I have no idea. Is I have no idea what does this it is. Have the code is the code in? Uh, and it's um, it's uh, it's it's open, so oh, okay. You can put the code in or whatever. Nice. But, um, I don't know. My guess is like fifty dollars. Why not? But yeah. Um, Michaela, that looks actually good. pointed this out. Um, got this for ten dollars. Michael pal coming through. <laughs> and um. What do you think your guess is this is worth? Uh, I just bought, we almost bought something similar to this, Brother Dave and I, not too long ago, and I would guess like 150 So there's multiple solds for 375 375 <laughs> What? What even is this? Chart plotter, portable color chart plotter. I'm trying to figure out why this... So yeah, Michael pointed out, and I was like, oh, oh yeah, that's good. And then there's so chart plotter, dollars. is this like... Like if you have a full route, so this is probably a business use. Probably, yeah. Like a semi or something. So that makes sense. I mean, there's there's <laughs> solds. That I don't know if they're fake, but they're solds for four ninety nine. Damn. Multiple. So I, I obviously so, for ten dollars. <laughs> no hollers right that's there. That's a no brainer. This mouse. Unfortunately, people are always funny because she told me this was brand new. It's not the, that's it's not, not the right even mouse. The, not even the same mouse. Which I did see, but I got it for, I think, like $3. So I'm like, I think we need a mouse for, like, yeah. that computer over there anyway. So if it's not worth much, I mean, we can just use it for that. It's Logitech, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, for $3. Let's just say, this new replacement mouse. Oh, I guess it's a replacement mouse. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, but right. for $3. $3. Can't go wrong. Um, this. Is that a, do I see a sealed game there? Uh, what do you see? Oh, yeah. this, this I got for two dollars, which is worth like seventy or eighty. That's it. Yeah. So <laughs> no hollers. Good score right there. Um, this score oh was the first game score of the day. Was this an ask? So all of the good game scores were an ask. Were an ask. Were an ask. All right, so, come on, baby. The power <laughs> of the ask. So this was Let's a go. sale that had a lot of they had a lot of like Jurassic Park figures and like literally fifty Nerf guns, and but I was like. So I feel like you would have, might have pulled Jurassic the trigger Park on figures. More. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely would have bought those. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> that's but, all right. Yeah. Um, so there's an NES in here. Oh my gosh. Uh, there wasn't any like super special games, but I mean, there are a lot of like, I mean, there's, you know, Super Mario, Duck Hunt. Three. three. Um, I th they're like, you know, 10, 15 bucks a piece for all of them. Left for us. I mean, fun little. Yeah. And then I also 
and the same same uh same deal oh dang got a 2ds it's got you know I see mario hoops 3v3 it's got Yoshi's super mario Island. bro some of them have like bite marks on it yeah um so i got both of these both of these scores for 100 bucks nice and then i had her throw in this is a good one oops Oh, Spy versus Spy. Okay. I had her throw in these hats. Nice. And then these custom-made <laughs> Mario pillows. I, I was that. like, oh, we could, like, throw those on the couch upstairs. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, you got to throw those in, and we have a deal. That's great. Um, Super Jeopardy. There is a... I, can, I thought I can, that was the right one, but I don't think it is. It's okay. like $15. Yeah, we've sold a, recently a Wayne Gretzky hockey label variant. And yeah, I don't one think of them that's that might not be the one, yeah. Yep. Got low, low. Yeah. Low, That's a great score. Yeah. Definitely 300 plus in value, I would say. Um, then we got these figures right here, which I think I picked Marvel them up 12 inch. for all of them for $5. Oh, yeah. Which the Captain America is going for like $10 by itself. So I'm like, oh, I'll lot them up and. Lot them up for like 60, 70 bucks. Yeah. So I was like, okay. That's a quick and easy deal right there. See, listing on eBay for over a year, you know, like, oh. Yes. No testing, no nothing, lot them up, gone. Yes. So that, that's a great buy, bundle, or bundle, it makes sense. That same sale, personal deal, we picked up a pack and play for $5. That's worth like 100 Let's go. That's great. And then we also, a different sale, we picked up um, a bassinet yep. for 35 and it's worth like 150 Dang. So a couple of good personal deals. So, so, so were they you. like nice quality neighborhoods where you're like, this stuff is clean, like we feel yes, good about. Yes, it's all it's all like like one story houses, but they're you know it's they're upkept, they're nice. Everyone nice mows ranches. their lawn. I mean, there was tons of people out. It was so it was, but it wasn't busy. I was expecting oh to like gosh. not be able to park or anything, but it wasn't busy. Have you said where this is yet? Because I almost want to keep it a secret. I haven't, I haven't okay. said where it is. <laughs> we're we're, we're moving going back it. next year. <laughs> that sounds like like a weekend trip with with all of our wives. That would be very yes, fun. Yes. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> So this was also an ask. Well, actually, she had these bongos out. Oh, nice. And she didn't, she was like, I don't even know what those, I was like, do you have anything else other than video? She's like, I don't even know what those are for. And I'm like, oh, that's that's for GameCube. Yeah. Do you like, do you have the GameCube? And she's like, oh, nice. I think so. And then she, so she brought this. I'm like, do you have any games? Oh, I think so. So she went back in. She ask. didn't, she didn't get much, but this is in nice. here. SpongeBob. Um, you know, it's not in great shape, but I think I, I picked this up for her. Like 30 bucks, I think. Yeah. So oh, with, we're, there's a few games in that here. First party controller needs a new joystick, but we yeah. can do that. Yeah. And then this, this is the funniest sale today. So I make some mistakes, you know. Um, but he had a few games out, and I was like, do you have any more? That's yeah. a good tip. Always ask, do you have any 100%. more games? Because he's like, oh, yeah, I have some more I'll bring out. So he brought out more stacks of games. But I bought it, all this and this, for 35 mm -hmm. And then he was like, he was very kind. I, I didn't check through all of them. He's like, just make sure you check through all of them because I didn't. Mm -hmm. And then as I was looking through the games, Ooh. I didn't even realize this was oh in the stack. God. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm Is really happy there? about that. Yeah. It's in there. I was Let's like, go. I didn't even tell him. When I saw that, I was like, oh, my gosh. Mikhail was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> For those that don't know, that's like an 80 to to $100 game. Yes. And, and Especially in Q4. I told Mikhail my goal is to find $100 game, and then I saw it, I'm like, yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. I'm having a really hard time not talking. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Yeah. That's sweet. a good one. Half-Life 2. Orange Box is a good one. Yeah, so I was I was happy, especially with the guitar <laughs> great... for 35 bucks, and then I saw this, yeah. so I was like, oh. So this shoot, is Guitar no Hero 2, you bundle it with that, and this will probably be like 80 to 100 bucks by itself as well. Yeah, I knew when I saw the guitar. It, it needs the breakaway cable, but we have these, and I believe oh, sweet. Uh, our, our channel sponsor, XYAV, stocks these, and you can get them super cheap. Just, just have them on hand for when you get a guitar. And thanks to XYAB, the sponsor of this channel. They're a business-to-business -business video game accessory supplier. We love them and use them frequently in our business. So like, when you got a Wii Remote without a battery cover, Go to XYAB, you can get your battery covers. When you got a Wii without the doors, you can go there and get the doors. And the, the thing about it is they have just about everything you could think of and need to maximize your video game sales. That's what a lot of this stuff is here. And they're like the best quality, the cheapest price, and the fastest shipping. Where else can you say those three things all in one? 
So if you're selling video games and you're interested, ever since I found out about them, I was pretty upset that I didn't know about them much sooner because I would just go on eBay and order these things randomly and sporadic shipping from China, take a couple months or whatever. But XYEB, you're getting next, next day shipping with the best quality stuff and you know they're gonna have what you need at the right price, jumper packs, so much more. You can use the link in the description for $50 off your first order of 100 bucks or more. Go do it. What else we got? Uh, this, this was kind of like, uh, uh, well, it is what it is. So it was an Oculus. Okay. And so I picked it up with that Xbox game. Um, she had like 15 on this, two on this. I was like, we do both of them for 10. So I was like, oh, Oculus. And then I looked it up. It's just for it's just for your phone. Oh, that's with a Samsung thing. So it's it's like fifteen dollars. Oh yeah, that's because I looked I looked it up because it was like Samsung Gear VR and I looked it up. It was like two hundred some bucks. I was like, I don't know if this is the right one, but yeah. whatever for ten dollars for both of them. And I mean, I already well, makes, obviously that you know, makes up for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. But unfortunately, there. that's kind of a wash. That's a wash but yeah. It is what it is. What's in here? And then so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna purchase it since I'm gonna be the one shipping it anyway, but. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. So this typewriter. Smith Corona Electra 120. Yeah, and it looks in great shape. Um, I think she had like 25 on it or 30 yeah, it or something. Yeah, says 25 right there. Yeah, and I was I was like, what's your low? 15. She's like, sure. So it's worth like 150. So I'm like, it's going to be brute to ship, but, you know, calculate I'll shipping. I'm curious to see how fast that sells. Yeah. Because this is, this is kind of the brand to look for. There was with... a lot of soul time, so I'm not. Okay. I, I feel pretty good. good about it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And then the sale of the day. Well, I don't know if I call it sale of the day. That this is the sale of the day, obviously. But yeah, the score of the day. The, this is. I mean, this has been staring me in the face this whole time. Yes, you the got comics. One, two, three, four, five boxes of comics. Yes. So were these out? These were out. These were out. Okay. And I felt I felt cool, you know, because I was like, "Where's your husband? I'm interested in these," because it was a lady. And uh huh. I'm like, what would you do for all of them? Yes. You know, Classic. just because he had. He had a dollar a piece on him. And I'm like, okay, okay I'm not going to do a dollar a piece on him. Yeah. He's like, what would you do for all of them? So we ended up on 160. Uh huh. Which I didn't feel too great about because they're like, oh, there's probably like two, 250. I'm like, ah, I know we could get rid of these. If we can do the same thing I want now, I know I could get rid of them quickly. But then I went through this little tub right here. Uh huh. And there's. I think it's eye is deceiving. There's over a hundred in here. Yeah. So yeah, there's I'm a like, ton okay, of comics even here. if they're a dollar a piece, which I looked up a lot of these, and they're a few bucks a piece. What is this? Oh, oh, those are probably from that GameCube sale that just owned. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Nothing um, crazy. But so I wasn't. I didn't feel super good about this buy. I think that this will pan out um we we did that on whatnot we got we did a collection of unpaid collection of comics fire sold them for a buck a piece basically every dollar it goes up you get another comic and we sold them all that way because they were unpicked and i am curious like this looks kind of interesting these robotech so, masters it is important to kind of keep them together because i think he put like sets together yeah it, se it seems like they are so, what's that also really helps and he's got like Spawn and X Men. He's got a ton of Spider Man. Um, a lot of them are bagged and boarded, which which obviously helps, helps the value. So I was like, I feel okay about this. Um, I like it. Yeah. I, I think we just add them to our whatnot pile and yeah. buy the same thing. Let somebody else make a bunch of money if there's some good ones. But yeah, some of these are marked at four, five. Some comics or seven. Interesting. So I I gave him a goal to, in the beginning of the day of what I wanted in value. Mm -hmm. So what do you think for value is here? Let me do some quick mental math. I'm gonna call the Comet Collection conservatively 400 bucks. I'm gonna do similar values to what I would give myself conservatively. Okay. Yeah. So 300, 700, call that a throw in. Call that 25, 725, 825, 900 thousand thirteen hundred thirteen fifty fourteen fifty fifteen sixteen seventeen hundred very conservatively seventeen hundred in value is my is my guess okay my um hope was to get two thousand 
I think that's probably what you actually got. Okay. okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was extremely conservative. Okay. I haven't even seen really the games that were inside of here. Yeah, there, there's, there some, are... there's some good games in there. Unfortunately, some of them have bite marks. But... Animal Crossing. Yeah, I didn't factor in any of these. Back ones here. What's this? Asphalt. You know, I think what we should do to see if that is true is we should test that completely. Okay. Fully processing everything, and we'll see what happens. Elpel went garage selling with my $1,000 that I gave him, and he only spent like close to 500 of it. This is what you got. We're going to process all of it. His goal was that it would be worth $2,000 or more. So 1500 in profit being the goal, it took you about, was it six hours of actual sourcing, but two hours driving each way. So 10 hours of time to make this happen. That would be incredible if it's actually worth over $2,000, but we're gonna see if Alpel was a wise steward of those resources in this video and fully process the entire collection. Let's dive in. All right, Alpel, he's recording right now. So one of the most interesting scores that Alpel got was these comic books. And what did you pay for these again? Uh, 160. 160, so you have one, two, three, four, five boxes of comics. They were marked a dollar a piece and you asked how much. There's way more than 160 comics. There's probably 160 or more in this box, if I had to guess. Yeah, I think that little tote down there has over 100. So okay. That, wow, okay, so yeah. there might be 200 in here. Yeah, I think they started at 250. I'm gonna count these after this and we, we can say how many are in here for sure. But normally with comic blocks like this, what I've been doing is selling them on whatnot, fire, fire selling them off for a dollar a piece unpicked, in which case that would probably be like 600 bucks right here. So this is almost guaranteed a great score, but that, that being said, we might have something more special than that. <laughs> Here's the thing about these. Like this entire box right here, pretty much, is all Uncanny X-Men. These, like there's Inferno X-Men, there's just a couple of those mixed in, but then it's all Uncanny X-Men. And I'm wondering, do we have key issues? Do we have special stuff? Are these picked, unpicked? If they're unpicked and we have key issues, there's a sold listing from the run of 201 to 400 on these Uncanny X-Men that went on bid for 1200 bucks, which is insane, but we have that same exact era here. Like we're starting at two, like there's 183, there's 207. Um, you know, we certainly don't have a full run, but we have close to it, right? 209, 210, and of course there's others mixed in that we'll remove. There's 214, 215. The question I have is, do we have the key issues? If there are key issues in this run, there must be if it went for 1200 bucks. We're gonna see, we're gonna use Key Collector, the comic app, and uh, we'll just go from there and see if we should sell these ourselves or let somebody else put in the work. Okay, 221 was a key issue, as was 266. First appearance of Gambit in that one. But 220 to 221, nothing. I can't remember the first appearance of that one. It was lower than 266, which you got 263, 264, 265, 268. And I don't think that it will be in here. So it looks like maybe the top key issues are pulled. That being said, like some of these could be still 10 to $20 by themselves and the sets go for good money. 139 is the early earliest issue here. And then it goes all the way to, let's see what the back is. These are definitely more modern. What is it? I don't even, I can't even find the numbers on these things. They're so modern, I don't know, 390. So like pushing up to 400 probably by the end of it. There you go. And I will count how many comics are in this box. All right, in this box alone, there were 184 comics. Not bad, I separated the ones that weren't Uncanny X-Men and that's just this stack. So there's about 175 in the Uncanny X-Men series. I'm liking the looks of that. I think that's gonna be some serious money right there. And here is what I've discovered. There's 177 unique Uncanny X-Men comics running from 139 to 400. There's definitely missing ones in between. And I listed out each and every one in the listing because I think we can get 
five or six hundred bucks for this. I listed it at six hundred dollars for the whole lot. That's a little over three dollars a book, and I'm optimistic on it. We'll see what happens. Definitely, we'll take reasonable offers. The Spawn Comics, it was like one through ninety-one, missing a few but not many. So that's a couple hundred bucks potentially. The Ultraverse lot I listed for like eighty, and then a few other random lots for twenty to thirty bucks. And we might get to these Spider-Man ones because we have decent stacks of those. The Robotech as well. And then still have to do a little bit more going through the next three boxes of comics to decide whether or not we just want to blow them out, let somebody else do the work, or if there's big lots, we might list some of those. And then we'll get to the stuff that'll take hopefully much less time on average, including this guy. I can't wait to list that and some of these new toys, but... Good start. If these comics sell, Al Pal's going to be looking real good. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> okay, all the electronics so far have worked. The 2DS, it's in rough shape, so Al Pal, I think that we should sell it on eBay. Okay. Because it's got, like, some of the bite marks up top and stuff. That's fine. I mean, I got this and all the games for 50 bucks. 50? 50 bucks. Okay, yeah, cool. So. And there were some, there were some solid games, like Yoshi's Island... Mario 2, Mario Hoops 3v3. It looks like you completed a few. Completed these three, yep. Have a nice. stack of empty cases and sweet. all the cartridges work. Like, at least the ones that we'll sell individually, they all work. Yeah. I will, other than this one. So that one, it it's got, uh, yeah. What, wait, what's wrong with it? That's gone. <laughs> I can fix that. <laughs> that is unfixable and we're going to throw it away. Okay. <laughs> but this is clutch. This is good to go. This thing is like... Like new. Yeah, I mean, didn't it, even realize, like, this thing is unused. <laughs> like, it's never, I mean, everything's, like, still bundled up. I mean. And this was your score of the sale. So oh, you, yeah, you paid, sure. remind me what you paid? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. And, and potential like value 400. is? Four hundred. Four hundred. Good night. So that's going to work out really well. The Sony Handicam, you paid five? Five. I had to throw away the carrying case because it was gross. That's fine. Um, but <laughs> this one took some tinkering. This was all jammed, and Matt had to work his magic resetting. And I don't even know what you did, Matt, but you're a magician. Hit the like button for Matt the Engineer. Yes. I have no idea what I did to that thing. Well, all you did was turn it on and off again, and it, and it, and it worked. <laughs> That's all you But do. I'm assuming this will be, like, north of $100 easily. Because sure. yep. it has a charger, battery, and a tape. <laughs> no longer has a carrying case, but that's okay. That won't that's make much okay. of a difference. Yep. Sweet. We'll get these listed up, and we'll continue processing. And I don't know, man. The, the comics, like, a lot of your success is riding on that. Yeah. And I listed them high. I just don't know. Don't know if they'll sell. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, we'll probably take at least two weeks to finish this this video just so we can see if some of this stuff actually sells. Yeah. Let's get some stuff listed. Good morning, everyone. Alpal is looking pretty good. Update on comic sales for Alpal. This collection is looking pretty good. So he had 191 comics that we sold on whatnot. We ended up getting about 85 cents a piece. And keep in mind, his buy cost was $160 on the entire collection. So he is at break even with all of the extras. And then this morning on eBay, the lot of Spawn Comics right here, it's probably about 70 books, just sold and paid for $240. So that right there is actual pure profit. I know after fees, it's about 200 210 bucks, and we did charge shipping on top. So this buy is panning out quite well because he still has quite a bit more comics that have been listed inside of, I believe, that top box. It's funny. We have another collection we're going through right now unrelated to this. But, yeah, congrats to Alpal on this score. This is going to pan out really well. We knew the Spawn comics were a good part of it, and, like, any comics by image are a little bit more desirable, and he had a lot of those. But I don't think he knew, you know, how good this buy would pan out when he bought it. He was definitely nervous about it. So that's huge. Um, almost all of the electronics have worked. So we're, we're looking good there. You know, the Sony Handicap worked with some tinkering. But we still have to get to the guitar, uh, a couple of the GameCube, and then the Garmin works, which is good. So overall, it's, it's a great start. And we've got some work to do getting everything else listed. And also, later in the day, these Spider-Man comics just sold for $70. So, Al Pal, you feeling good? I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, that's almost, I mean, it's more than a double of 
Oh yeah. You got your money back on the ones that sold them and whatnot. Yes. And then you paid 160, so 240 and 70 is 310 after fees with 15% fees is about 260 ish. And there's still a lot listed, so yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about that buy. Yeah, this is this is aging well. We yes. definitely learned to look for the image comics. What does it yes. say? Right there. Image comics. Image comics. A little bit higher average value per comic. Okay, Matt, you can do your package. Great work. I started listing some of the stuff that you got from the sales El Pal and the 2DS sold for full asking price at 80 bucks. Now this one had some wear, it was all noted, it was all pictured, and the buyer was aware. So that's a good sale for 80 bucks. Matt is currently going through your games for Amazon. Um, just sent off the GTA for Xbox, and that one you bought for like two bucks, and he sent it off for like 100 because it's brand new. I'm excited for that. That's a that's a really good buy, and we really don't have much left on your table, um, but we still have to process through the rest of the games, which hopefully there's going to be a lot of profit in those. Got to test some of the consoles, the guitar. And this guitar, I actually have a private buyer, potentially, a friend that lives a few states over. So he might want that if we test it and it works. And uh, yeah, we've got, we got, we got a little bit more work to do. We'll see if any more of that eBay stuff sells, but we'll also come at you with a final listed price for eBay and then you know by the end of the video we'll also know how much we actually have in actual sales too. Well the results are in. Elpel has them. Um, I want to update you guys on a couple things. So Matt got done listing on Amazon. The GameCube did not work. No it didn't unfortunately. And then the Nintendo we can't send it off yet because we're still awaiting Mario 2 and we bundled it with Mario 1, 2, and 3. It works. It needs to be like retro bright. It needs a little bit more work. Yeah, not great condition but. So GameCube was the biggest L. Uh, biggest W, yes. the Sony Handycam, after a little bit of tinkering from Matt, got it working. And I think that was listed for about 150, 180? 180, yeah. It'll sell easily for 150. Yeah. So that was a big win. The Frozen and the Monster High, I think those ended up being a big win. Yes, With what for they sure. were listed at compared yep. to what you bought them for. And then uh, NCAA Football 14 was a big one. The goal was... I, the was? goal originally stated was 2000 in value. In value, and you paid a little under 500 yeah, it was like 474 or something like that. So your goal is yep. 1500 in net profit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. And I don't know the numbers yet. Alpel has the numbers. So break it down for me. Um, Amazon is 1118. Wow. And that is after fees like Yes, that is after that's, factors that's profit. in the fees. Yep. And then again, I didn't even include the guitar. Oh gosh. Which is like which is still another in, we 100 been able bucks. To test that yet. Yeah. If it works. If it works, 80 to 100 bucks. And then eBay is 1700 after like 30%. So deducting 30% for fees and price adjustment, which fees are more like 15%. Yes, yeah, so net. 1700 So after fees is 2820 value minus the stuff that's already sold. Yeah. And you're, and not even including that. So with that number, you're not including any whatnot. So whatnot was, I think, 150 Right, okay, 150, 150 in, in pretty, like, pretty easily in fire sale games. Fire sale and games. These guys are going to yes. go to whatnot, and then you had a yes. couple of random pieces that. And actually, there. it's like what another 160 for the comics that sold. Oh, that's right. So it's over. It's 3, like 3,000 realistically. Yes. But if you want to be extra conservative, we'll go with your 2820 number. It took us about. It only took you eight hours to source. Yep. And it took us like 20 hours. Of it took us like 15, but we're giving ourselves five more for shipping. Yeah. Which is, I mean. 28 hours total. We'll go with that. Yeah, so that's 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 $100 an hour. Exactly, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Let's go. Al Pal making it happen. The goal was 2000 It was really over 3000 Well, congrats on your first solo garage sailing Thank day. Thank you. If you want to see more garage sale processing videos just like this, uh, check out our other videos on the channel. And thank you, as always, to XYAB, yes. the supplier of video game accessories, which we're going to awesome. use probably to fix that GameCube. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. See ya.